So here we go, trying to upgrade the firmware on the E1 camera Z. Um, this is an Android um, phone, so doing it with the Android app. The first thing is to have the Android app connected to the internet and it will automatically check for firmware updates. So typically that means um, on Wi-Fi not connected to the E1 camera. Um, and in the settings uh, wheel at the top right here, um, down in camera updates and camera models, uh, when you tap on camera models, it will show your camera and it will show the available version. So if you've been running the app and left it connected to the internet, periodically it will check and you see it says available version is 0.26. So that's already downloaded from the internet to the Android phone, but it's not on the camera yet. Okay, so going back. Um, to actually update the camera from the Android phone, you need to be connected by Wi-Fi, not just Bluetooth. So in the network name, um, it says Z Camera Eagle 0B, which is my camera. Um, so I'm connected by Wi-Fi, the camera's powered on, has got a memory card in it, this won't work if there's not a memory card in it that's already formatted, and the camera's connected to a power source so it won't go flat during the process. So now to the bottom, in camera models, to kind of force the file to transfer from the phone or tablet, Android tablet, to the camera, I just hold down on where it says camera model E1. So if I hold down on that camera model E1 for a little while and then let go, you'll see it's saying upgrade Z camera. Um, it's To me it's just apparently copying the file from the uh, Android device over to the camera. And it verifies that the file is the correct size, um, that it's on the um, on the camera and then just OK. So to summarise run the Android app connected to the internet periodically I'll just go back in the app at the minute um, and then you see where it says auto upgrade um, at camera updates last check 16th of the second so um, needs to be connected to the internet so if I go back on my network connection to my home network which in my case is Lakeview connect to the internet so if I go back to the app again um, the auto upgrade you can swipe that to off and on it doesn't appear to do much for me but I try and leave it on on and then if I go into camera models and check that seems to be the box that then does a check to the internet and if there is a new version then where it says available version 0.26 that'll implement okay so once it, your available version is higher than the one on the camera that's when you go back and in network connect to your camera so mine Zcam Eagle 0B so obviously you need to have Wi-Fi turned on on the camera and then, as I've already said, once you're connected to the actual camera via Wi-Fi, not just Bluetooth, that's when you can go to camera models. And I'll show you again. And just hold down where it says camera model um, for a couple of seconds and let go. And that then will transfer the latest firmware that's on the Android device over to the camera. And verify the file size so you can't flash bad firmware, I guess. So there you go, transferred it over to the camera and now you'll see um, some messages on the um, camera display so I'll show you those, we'll move to the camera now and show you those. So now looking um, at the Z um, E1 camera Z, um, normally after you transfer the um, firmware with the Android app, um, it takes about 20 seconds or 30 seconds or so 
before you see this message on the back of the camera display. Um, so it doesn't happen immediately, um, but just be patient. Um, leave Wi-Fi turned on on the um, camera, um, and uh, this message will pop up. So um, the up arrow button at the back um, will toggle the between the OK and the cancel. And then, because um, I've now selected OK, it's going ahead and um, updating the firmware on the camera. Um, you'll notice I've got the um, power supply plugged in. And if I switch to the top display, you'll see on the top display it then says um, it's upgrading the version. Um, so make sure um, you've certainly either got a full battery or you've got external power plugged in and uh, you see the red light um, flash at the top and you'll see upgrade success on the top panel and then the uh, camera reboots um, the top panel will look like normal um, and uh, the back is a normal display um, so, um, so that's it um, once it's copied across just take the OK to accept the upgrade and um, the camera will upgrade and then the firmware on the camera is the uh, latest. I normally then um, just power the camera off and on once just to check everything's okay. Um, it normally preserves all the settings, all the firmware upgrades so far. Haven't uh, changed any of my settings um, on the camera. Um, so you'll see now if I look in the menu that it's showing the camera's got firmware um, 0 0.26 on it um, and you're done at that point. Um, just a couple of the tricks I found out um, you can um, copy the firmware if you find somewhere to download it just copy the .bin file to the root directory of the memory card and, um, and then you can uh, flash it that way um, just using the camera not the Android app. Um, this is only really useful if you want to go back to older firmware versions which I can't recommend and I'm sure the makers of the camera wouldn't recommend but if you just um, if you want to avoid your warranty I guess and test and play around. So once you've got the um, the firmware file, the .bin file in the root directory of the camera then if you're looking at this uh, version number here then what you can do is just go um, um, select that um, version number so to force the firmware upgrade um, from some firmware you've put on the card select where it says version number and then press the FN button to select it um, and you'll see the message about do you want to upgrade um, the firmware so that can be an older version of firmware, it can be the beta and release candidates that have been made available. Copy it to the root directory of the memory card, power the camera on, find the version number there and press FN and it will um, uh, flash the firmware that's on the memory card. And then the final um, tip, again, um, cannot recommend it, do it at your own peril. Um, ruin your warranty, um, self-destruct your camera. Um, if you hold down the, um, the red button on top and the um, menu button on the back and power the camera on, so hit the power button and then keep that menu and red button on top held, you'll see on the um, top of the camera it'll say test um, just before it goes back to its normal display on top but then on the back you'll see a bunch of um, options um, I have no um, no desire to try any options for fear of ruining my camera if you want to try those options and um, ruin your camera and give feedback um, do add it to the comments below um, the way out, so the uh, up and down will cycle you through the options on the back um, I guess but I don't know that FN will um, select them it's been useful for me to see the um, 
firmware and Git numbers along the bottom as they've been releasing different um, RC candidates for us to try. Um, the way out of it is to, um, the safe way out of it is to just press the and hold the power button to um, power the camera down again. Hope that's useful. Um, as I said, those last couple of tips are, are at your own peril.